Hey everybody, my name is Angel. I'm here uh, to help out with this thorough processing uh, exam. Uh, no matter if it's CBSPD or CRCST, I just want to break things down like a fifth grader baby because that's how I had to do it for myself. That's how I did it for others behind me. Um, I helped them pass the test as well. It, it, no matter if it was ISHM or CBSPD, we just sat down and taught each other. Even though I knew majority of it, I did it as if it was a study. It's a study group. So I'm looking pretty rough, but I'm on a contract right now in, in Florida. So uh, no, there's nothing but mugginess, so I, I don't even care. Um, but I wanted to make some videos to help out with the test because I just met a woman yesterday that was brilliant in SPD. Been in it for 30 years, but cannot pass the test. Now that's sad on our part because you know as this the department keeps developing and you know changing we should be there for each other so you know reach one teach one whatever it is but I just feel like we should definitely come together and help each other so I'm going to try to break it down as simple as I can for some things I have my notes here if you see me looking over here I'm just trying to get everything out so you can understand it okay and the first video is going to be about steam sterilization period it's the most important thing that we do in SPD. Um, it's probably like 60% of your test. So we are going to focus on steering, steam sterilization for this video. You ready? All right, we're back. And we're going to jump right into steam sterilization. And we're going to break the word down. Okay? First word, steam. Yes, the first word is going to be steam. One part of steam sterilization. You will see that a lot in SPD of breaking down words, which will actually really help you when you get to the terminology. So as long as you know that the first part, be straight. You be straight. Okay, so steam. What is steam? Steam is actually a sterilant. Yes, sterilant. It's a medium that facilitates sterilization. Again, a medium that sterilates sterilization. And in other words, it's something that makes something else sterile. In our terms, steam, it's what is making something else sterile. Okay, and when I say something else, I mean the load we just pushed into the chamber. It's helping that load become sterile. That's what steam is doing. That's why steam is a sterilant. Okay, you ever go to the doctor and have to get your shots, your PPDs and HPV shots? Is there an HPV shot? Maybe. I don't know. But, um, so you have to go to the doctor and get those shots. They have to wipe off your area first to make it sterile so they can put a needle in your arm. What's that? Alcohol. They use alcohol to be a sterilant before they go into your skin. So remember that as well. I mean, it'll help you all the way. If they ask you, like, what the heck? How is that sterilizing? Like, you know, steam. Steam is sterilizing that low. It's a medium that facilitates the sterilization. Gotta remember that. So, the next part of steam sterilization is going to be sterilization. Yes, sterilization, okay? It is the destruction of all microorganisms, okay? Destruction of all microorganisms i want you to understand that it's killing it it's in there cooking it up baby cooking it up it's killing all them organisms it's killing all of it baby it's killing all of it the thing is though now that we know what steam sterilization is okay it's killing all the organisms with a sterling of steam we need to know how we need to know for how long we need to know how hot it gotta be for this steam to kill something off of a package so let's get into that okay all right so in order to understand what's going on in that sterilizer right we got to understand the states of water and how it's happening okay so the states of water are solid liquid and gas solid ice liquid water gas steam it's, you know, plain and simple. So, picture uh, you have some ice in a pot. Let me give you an example. 
this right here is going to help you with the states of water and will also help you understand how the solid goes to gas right here we have a pot inside we have solid liquid and will be turned into gas solid we have ice okay i just put it in a couple of seconds ago and it's already melting thank you florida okay that solid will actually turn into the liquid which is the water that's around it that's turning in to water from the solid and once all that is done and it starts to heat up even more it'll start to boil now the boiling will actually give off steam and since gas equals steam that's basically what you're going to get out that pot now before i can go any more with that i want you to understand the temperatures that it would have to reach these things okay so i put ice in the pot which was at a zero degrees celsius or if you want to do Fahrenheit, it was 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is freezing. And if you need examples for that, just go to Buffalo, New York. <laughs> just go upstate or, you know, go up north. And, man, it's cold. What's the temperature? It's 32 degrees. You know, think of that. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is freezing. And for it to get to the boiling state, it's coming from 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is boiling. All right, that's big. That is big for you to know. 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, freezing to boiling. But don't just think that you just need to know Fahrenheit. Understand Celsius as well. Um, definitely try to regroup on some of that. You know, zero degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius is freezing to boiling. But I want you to understand that as well because... You know, it, it will definitely, definitely uh, help you down the line. But also, you know, once it's the steam starts to go into the pot, picture I had a lid on that pot, you know, have it sealed. You know, it was a closed-in area. That pot will start steaming. But how can it start steaming if I have water in it, if I have air in it from outside? I put the pot on it. I put the lid on the pot. How in the world, you know? But that's why pressure, it helps with pressure. How can a steam sterilizer work? It deals with pressure. Water turns into steam. Steam expands inside a closed, sealed area. So if I had a lid on that pot, that's when it's going to start steaming and boiling. But the residual air is displaced by the expanding steam. That goes back to saying steam is way bigger than water i could put a a bottle of water in a pot and boil it steam is going to occupy that whole room from the boiling than the little bit of water that's in that pot that's why humidifiers are you know very very popular you know yetis are popular uh air fryers are popular with the rays um you know rice cookers are popular a pressure cooker is popular that's why they're popular you need to understand a displaced air okay it's just leftover air rigid residual air displaced by expanding steam residual is just leftover air okay you got a pot of water i'll say this you got a pot of water okay I have a stove, the table's my stove, I have the pot of water, the pot of water's getting heated up by the stove, turning into boiling water, making steam rise in this closed area, making steam rise into this closed sealed area, but how is it doing that? With the pressure. Pressure is doing that. You see, you see if I push this? You see, you see how it doesn't pop off the top? It's just moving the air around. That's what pressure does. It's like if you hug someone, you know, we don't blow up or anything. We just squeeze. Our fat just goes in a little bit. You're applying pressure. You apply pressure to something that's going to blow the heck up. You apply pressure. You clap your hands. You're applying pressure to the air so your hands can connect. That's why you get that smacking sound. Um... I want you definitely to understand that. Pressure. Pressure is actually being 
pushed up to the top from the steam, taking all the residual air up to the top, which is like a valve and a gauge. Have you ever seen a glass pot that has a hole on the top of it? And when you're like boiling water with the lid on top of it, you know, to make it go faster, you'll see air come up the top like it's like steam coming out that little hole. That's the displaced air being pushed out so the steam can be in the pot and be able to cook your rice and everything. That's why they say, I, I would man, I checked out the ingredients for it. Rice, you let it boil. And then once it boils, you put the rice in. You turn the heat down. You put the lid on it. And that, the, that steam cooks the rice. But then the rest of the air comes out the lid so the steam can stay in the pot and cook the rice. It's the same aspect as a sterilizer. You know, there are different things inside a sterilizer that will help cook the cook, cook the uh the trays and you know wrap trays whatever you got in there but hopefully that uh that helped a little bit this is just going to be part one of a part two um let me know if part one is okay if it's okay i'll keep going if it sucks please let me know i'll try a different you know angle i just i don't want to stop because i feel like a lot of people need to understand and learn so please, please let me know if there's something that I need to recover, if something I didn't recover, uh, it's just part one of a sterilization. I want you guys to understand the different types of sterilizers, you know, what, you know, what the dynamic air removal is all about. So if this is good, I'm going to leave this up. I'll check the comments in, you know, a couple hours to see if this is okay. Um, please, please reach out to me. I appreciate you all and God bless.